I'm fishing with three-way slip sinker rigs today on this pole. I got some lures on other poles with night crawlers. This guy was just snagged up. Had to wrestle him out for a while. He got caught in some sticks. I don't know what it is. It feels kind of like a carp. Hoping to get some nice big rough fish on this slip sinker rig. Gotten some nice carp around three feet in this pool and some nice suckers. About 80% of the record in this pool, so you never know. You could get a real monster in here. I really want to see this guy. Line's all abraded because it got caught in those sticks. He was just barely tugging when I set the hook on him. So I'm surprised he's this, this size. If it's a carp, it's probably an average one. If it's something else, it's probably a really nice whatever it is. A game fish or something. I don't know. He's doing some quick little head shakes too, but it still feels like a carp. He's like lumbering. Not sure. Definitely got to take it easy on him. I don't know how I got him out of those sticks. I basically, I tried pulling them different ways, but in the end I just pulled them into the sticks until the sticks gave out. I just hope, it's just six pound test. I hope it isn't too abraded from all that, that sawing I did when he was, when he was jammed up. I hope. This guy hit right away too. I casted it out. I started getting hit immediately. Pretty good deal. Let's try and ease him in here. Wish he would stay out of that area. That's right where the sticks are. And pull him back this way. I don't know. Ease them in. I got a fluoro leader on my three-way slip sinker rig too. And that's about it. Pretty simple setup. Got it right on that current break there where the swamp meets the fast water. It's getting in close here. If it's a carp, I mean carp usually take a few runs on light rigs like this for me. The decent ones in the 30s do at least. Gotta ease them in. I'm really worried about this line. I think it's all scratched up. I feel him. He's ticking the bottom. He's definitely getting close, about 15 feet out. Oh, he's not liking it either. Really wants to turn on me. Just gotta ease him in here. I don't know if he's going back out, I think. Yeah. yeah, he's going back out. Well, if it is a carp, he's either hooked in the fin or the mouth, probably. Sometimes they get hooked in the fins when they just like wander over the bait rig for whatever reason. Usually when they're hooked in the scales though, they pop by now. If they're hooked in the mouth, they'll stay hooked forever. Unless your hook bends. Same with the fins pretty much. The fins are, re are really, they, when they, whenever a carp get hooked in the fins, they really stick in there. I wanna keep taking them to the left here. Keep them out of that junk. It's strange though, because I never catch carp on this side, ever. I've always caught them on that side, but it might be a seasonal thing. They might be moving around, I don't know. I don't usually fish this pool this time of year. In the fall, though, they're usually on the other side. That's for sure. Kind of got me wondering. Feels like a carp, though. Yeah, it's all just dead weight. Moving them an inch at a time here. <laughs> carp, and he's hooked in the mouth. It's a decent one, that's for sure. It's really lumbering still ice melting into the water it's definitely in the 30s I would think you gotta believe yeah it's cold this is gonna take a few minutes don't want to hork him he isn't running much just a lot of dead weight and some smaller head shakes like he's trying to turn back out 
like that. And then I turn them back just barely. Come on, baby, be a 35 inch brown. <laughs> I don't think he'd fight like this. Pretty sure he'd throw a fit. It's gotta be a carp. That's what I'm going for though. Carp, suckers, whatever on this color rig. Just for fun. There's not much else to do right now. Went for rainbows yesterday, but it's probably like a week early. They aren't running heavy yet. Very, very few in the feeder creeks in the Finger Lakes. There we go. That line just roll over his body there. Come on. Come on. Just gotta be patient. Don't hork him. Oh yeah. Big old carp. I just saw a big flash. <laughs> Seemed pretty big. The flash did, but uh, I could be wrong. Looks tan. Looks like a carp. Good deal. I wonder if I'm pulling them in backwards or something. Usually they run a little more if you do pull them in backwards, though. It almost feels like I'm pulling them in sideways. That's usually when they feel heaviest, when you hook them on like the top fin or something. I have no clue how night, cr night crawler rigs and things like that get hook hooked on the top fin sometimes, but they do a lot for some reason. Yeah, it's definitely a carp. Definitely a carp. I'm pulling them in kind of halfway backwards. So either the line's wrapped up and he's hooked in the back or he's hooked in the mouth and the or no the line's wrapped up and he's hooked in the mouth or he's hooked in the back one or the other I'm not sure yeah the line's wrapped up I got him in the mouth sweet fair hooked good deal he's not that big though just like an average carp or around average size for this river no yeah not huge a little bit fat, but, you know, 34, 35 incher maybe. I'll get a measurement on him. It's kind of weird. He's missing like half his lip there. It's a respectable carp. 34 and a half inches. Solid one, I guess. There we go here. Trying to see if I can pick up a perch here. Jigging. Feels a little too big though. I don't know. I got walleye or something? I think I got walleye. Yeah. A bucktail jig. Yeah, 19 incher. It's a small one. All right, there's a fish. Got two slip sinker rigs out now. They're uh, three-way slip sinker rigs, both with night crawlers. This guy feels smaller. Hopefully a sucker. Doesn't feel tiny though. It's got a little bit of weight to him. A nice fall fish maybe. I don't know. Could be a game fish. Still just fishing the current break. One there, one rig there, and one rig out up there. All right, called it a sucker. That's what I was looking for. I want a nice heavy one, five pounder. That's what I want. A five or a six. This guy's gonna be a little shy. That's for sure. He's still a solid one. Nice heavy sucker. He's still got eggs. That's a good sign. That's what it takes to break a record. It's an above average fish with eggs or a way above average fish without. Probably a 20 incher. I didn't even know I had this guy on. Just went to check the rod. And there he was. Another 
good sized sucker maybe. Looks like he's got a little weight to him. Wiggling around like a sucker. It looks bigger than the last one. That's awesome. Solid sucker. Still looking for a six pounder. Come close a lot of times in the last few years to breaking the record. Closest I've been is 89% I think. Just can't quite close the gap. Been in the 80% range like I don't know five to ten times. Quite a few. This is a big one. That is awesome. Big ol' sucker. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm looking for. Nice solid white sucker. In the low 20s with eggs. Might break four pounds, maybe. It's a good one. Real nice one, for sure. I started putting in the slack water and I'm getting more hits. Like, halfway between me and the current break. That last sucker was 22 inches. I can't weigh him though, because my scale is fluking out. Could be a solid four pounder though, because he has a decent amount of eggs. Finally finding the fish here, looks like. Feels like another sucker, he's fighting the same. Yep, another sucker, wow. Another solid one, wow. 22 inch, I don't catch them 22 plus very often. Only like once or twice a year. These are good ones, man. These are big suckers. <laughs> they got eggs, too. Yeah, it's not quite as long as the last one. It's probably 20, 20 and a half. But it's still real fat with eggs. And they both hit back to back, but the one on the right is 22. The one on the left is 20 and a half. Real fat ones, too. Kind of wondering about this one. I don't think he's quite there though, so I'm going to put him back. I wish my scale worked. really wish my scale worked. There they go. Man. It's getting to the point where it's hard to keep up with them. They're really stacked in there. That's why I had those... I let those two go at once. I just... The pole went off when I was taking care of the the first one. This feels like another sucker, maybe. Sometimes in the winter they get really feisty and start taking drag. It's basically, I mean, it's not winter, it's really early spring. Water's still like winter temperature, pretty much. This is awesome. I found the suckers. I think most people wouldn't like this, but I love this. I've fished for suckers a lot before, and usually it's slower than this. Caught them just at the right time. They're aggressive because it's early spring, but they're still fat because it's not the middle of spring. Perfect. That's another beauty. I just wish my scale worked. That's so annoying. If I get like a 23 or a 24, I'm going to really be, I don't know, confused what to do without my scale. Because that's going to be pushing, you know, five and a half pounds. This guy's probably like a three, three and a half pounder. Something like that, another one very low 20s, you know, 20 inches or so. There we go. There's another one. It was fast and furious for a little while. This one took a good 10 minutes. Man, this is so exciting. I'm on a school of suckers and real quality ones at that. Cycle through enough low 20s, I might just find a 24 or 25. And if it has eggs, I'll most likely break the record by my estimate. Heaviest one I ever got was four and three quarters, I think, three years ago. And I've gotten a lot that have been right around four and a half. Only problem is there's like this reciprocating current right here, and it keeps taking the line this way into that um, snag that I caught earlier with the carp. This is a skinnier one. Probably 19 incher. There's one. Man, I love this. 
love being on any school of quality fish, no matter what they are. I'm losing my island now. See the little waves coming in? It's getting smaller. All my footprints over there are uh, filling in. And another sucker. That's another feisty one. They start. I've had them jump like in the, in January when it's zero degrees out or less because they're so they're so feisty in the winter sometimes. Man, this is this is just great. Another quality one. 60 degrees out, so I'm guessing the melt off is uh, is making the water rise. It's rising pretty fast. Oh yeah, it's a great one. Wow, what a sucker! Real thick, hefty, pretty long. It might be another 22, 21 and a half, but it's got some girth, or she does. Real nice white sucker, 22 and a half inches. Got some eggs. I got one once that was 22 and a half that had more eggs, and that was that four and three quarter one that I got. So I don't think she's going to be quite there. Still a real quality sucker though. They just suck on it a little bit. You'll just see the rod tip like vibrating usually. Once in a while it'll bounce down, but most often they'll just sit there and like eat it until it's in their stomach. I mean, most of these guys I'm lip hooking, but they'll if you if you give them that opportunity they'll take it. Had a couple carp cross over the line, snag the hook and whatever. Come on, really want a 24, 25 incher here. It's gonna take a while though. These are such nice suckers. That last one was definitely a big one by my standards. This is another real, real beauty. Man, solid suckers. Four pounders, man. Not as much eggs, but another beauty over 21 inches. Real solid suckers. Feels a little smaller. Could get some small fall fish too. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen. In the fall I do here though. Got all sorts of stuff in the fall here. This feels like a smaller sucker, yep. Still a nice one. It's just not fighting as hard, I guess. The average I usually get other times of the year is like, I don't know, 18, 19 inches. And getting them like 21 plus is rare. Um, but finding a school of them like this that are all like 20, 21, 22, 23 inches is great. Just way above average. This is another really nice one, real thick. That one's like 21, 21 or a little over. Man, just on a school of sows. This one's 22 and a quarter. Never caught so many over 22 in a day. It's awesome. There's one. The dynamics of this pool are really changing as the water goes up. This island's going to be gone soon and everywhere's getting deeper on this side so focusing two poles on this end so I haven't got as many hits over there. This guy feels smaller. Like half an hour ago I lost a hefty like really fast drag ripping fish. It was a lot like that carp, maybe not quite as heavy but but it was so much faster and it got stuck in some logs. I think I got a fall fish here. Sweet, first fall fish of the day. Rough fish trifecta. Just a smaller one. You know, 13 incher or somewhere around there. 